please remember to leave a like, a comment, share the video about, and if you haven't already, subscribe. Thank you. Well, isn't this just fantastic? Hello everyone, welcome to This Week at X. Today we're going to start with the Hader Tater, because I saw a rather fascinating interaction if you're involved in Grrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
Many creators in many different areas of the internet, of YouTube especially, have rubbed up a lot of people the wrong way. You have achieved and attained a level of immortality when you've managed to create a community that either backs you or hates you. If you have both, then you can be considered both lucky and unlucky. Because if you put one foot out of place at the right time, you lose more of those people that are on your side. And give it time, when a community exists that dislikes you so much, it is inevitable that more will go there eventually. And it's going to be harder and harder as more time goes by to retain and build the other community, the positive community. That is not a criticism of anyone in this. It really isn't. It's an observation of what I see because I've been here long enough to have seen it happen to too many creators at this point. It's why I make it a point to tread very carefully and generally show kindness to people. Although I know for a fact I've rubbed up a few people the wrong way over the years. That is, after being here for nine years, understandable. If you go right back to the very first tweet of what started this, yes, of course, it comes from a place of genuine anger at somebody that took what they had for granted, a common mistake we all make in our lifetimes. It also comes from a place of somebody observing one spending far too much time obsessing over one thing when they have so much good in their world, or had. Again, I can relate to that, which is why I don't criticize for it. While we've been in the ballpark of a particular type of lol cow in the form of world foodie beauty stuff, right? Let's quickly talk about Tipster, because something's about to happen, and it might be today, it might be or may have already happened, it might be another day, I actually can't remember. But I want to quickly highlight it for a little bit concerning Tipster and Boblax. Now Boblax has been wronged by Tipster, but Tipster is too much of a coward to talk to those he has wronged. He's too much of a coward to engage in conversation, especially with anyone that has an IQ over one. He'd much rather be a creepy 37-year-old married man on the internet. And I mention those explicitly because Discord messages, hundreds of them, have been leaked. And Boblax has them. They date back through 2023. These messages were tweeted out somewhere, and I'm going to go through a few of those because that should be okay. Boblax has the rest, and he's going to do a live stream on it, or a video. And obviously it would be wrong of me to take that from him. But the ones he's tweeted out publicly, I thought, yeah, let's quickly go through those. I say quickly. I'm going to prattle on. I'm English. Sorry, not sorry. First tweet from Bo Blacks. Tipster, what's your fasona? Now, of course, on the face of it, nothing wrong with that, right? It's just coincidental around this time there's been talk about people being furries in schools. It's just a bit of a timing thing. Optics, yeah. The follow-up tweet, someone leaked hundreds of Tipster Discord messages to me. All of them are so crusty. Next. If it makes you feel any better, my tits look horrible too, at Maeve. Oh dear. Tipster, HRT is a miracle drug. Hormone replacement therapy is remarkable in that it can help some people who have deficiencies. It also is obviously used with gender dysphoria. There are bodybuilder types who require HRT because their body no longer produces natural testosterone. I know this from a YouTuber, Kevin Frazard. He does a lot of heavy metal guitar play. I love it. Death metal. Brilliant. He's a very talented player, but he also had to be on HRT because of his body's testosterone problem. Next image. If you see that as an attempted trick, does that mean you enjoy being strangled? Also, to be fair, when does a Catboy Ranch highlight not involve a convo about bottoms? This seems crusty. Next. Adding more context, the HRT is a miracle drug. Maeve. Now I'm learning how hard it is to take booby pics. Turns out it's not easy. The titties don't just instantly look great on camera. No one told me this. Tipster. OMG. Lumi, girl moment, tipster, yeah, his boobs look horrible. There's more context. I like this. Context is good. I find it odd that at the age of 37, and yes, I'm judging a little bit, he's going through this phase. A bit of a midlife crisis, I guess. When you see message exchanges like this, it doesn't make him look better or supportive, like the bras in the conversation. It just makes him look peculiar because he's having these conversations. Chris the Nazi Narc had retweeted Bo Blacks by saying, Oh my god, I won the bet. Tipster HRT arc starts now. I keenly await all the receipts on that one. The Catboy Ranch has been exposed for a number of things, and it hasn't made those involved look remotely good. Optics are not on their side. It being leaked is hardly a surprise. Seeing somebody a year younger than me act like an even creepier version of himself is quite peculiar. And let's not forget here, Tipster's always been a bit horny. Which is quite amusing, really, because you have everything you could ever want. But apparently you need some stuff off the internet, too. 
that doesn't come from hub or bank or tube or wherever it is you go and get your stuff. I assume some form of lolly site as well. Next, Andrew Tate. Dear white men, you're effed. You're being replaced because none of you have children. Even those of you bitching about the replacement online, like little girls, don't find the gumption to have sex. I see white men bragging about having five kids as if it's an achievement, lol. Five? Per year, right? Oh, all you white boys lost control of your women, and now they won't accept multiple wives anymore. Now they tell you they don't want kids. One's enough. They don't want to do their God-given job anymore, no? They want Instagram likes instead. So your genetic potential is stumped by the whims of some singular female, a female who takes a whole nine months to grow a single baby. Other races have multiple ovens for bread. We're not cucked. Some bitch is screaming at you about loyalty and you're sitting there saying yes baby. It carries on by the way, finishing with enjoy extinction. The correct summation to evaluate what Andrew Tate has said here, aren't you mixed race? Which is true. In 2011, in the UK, the white population made up 80% or 80.5. It now makes up 82.9%. We've seen a lot of discussion about racial demographic splits, but that's based on the UK census. So it's official to be honest. Whether that is the same in other countries that are white dominant, I'm not entirely sure. But other countries are a bit more um, relaxed on their borders. So of course things change. It could be a very good criticism though of the birth rates in certain countries that haven't gone up as much as people had thought they would. Turns out that level of irresponsibility is starting to die off with the current generation. I'm okay with that. Although they are, as you, Andrew, yourself pointed out, more interested in Instagram likes. Which doesn't surprise me. After seeing a number of kids' TV shows, that constant seeking out of validation seems to be a prevailing theme. Perhaps we should bring back TV shows that were less poisonous. Owing to time constraints on my part, let's go to one more tweet. OW Root. My wife used to love dogs. Then we had kids and she realised they weren't as important and in recent years, honestly, she has grown to kind of hate dogs and the dog enablers and the place they are occupying in our declining society. I'm sure there are many others like her. Reply, the more people idolize dogs and have them instead of children, the less I like them. I retweeted this because I don't like the term dog enabler. I think that is a very horrible way of thinking of dogs as inferior by saying dogs are not an inferior species, accessory, nor something to trot out to look good in front of people. They are friends, they are family, and they are equals. I certainly regard them as such. If you think like this ball bag's wife, unfollow me, you're a that word that isn't worth my time. And obviously, yes, yeah, sugar tits includes a beautiful cat, a calico, I think. I had a cat like that, called Crackers. But she wasn't as um, willing to get her hands dirty like that. After COVID, I saw many a dog abandoned, many a cat abandoned. But it wasn't as much in my country. It was happening in my country, but it was happening in another country, a third world country that likes to think itself as one of the greatest countries in this world. Abandoning your animals and giving up on them like that tells me everything I need to know about you as a person. If your dog is to you just an accessory to fill a void, it tells me you never cared in the first place. Might I suggest instead you buy yourself a body pillow and just talk to that instead? Far less chance of you hurting its feelings when you decide to put it in the skip without washing it first. The term dog enabler though, that fascinates me. It's a way of looking down upon those who consider their dog to be that equal to the rest of their family. I consider my dogs to be equal to my nieces and nephews. Now granted I don't have children, maybe that's why I think so differently. My sisters have kids and they don't treat the dogs the same way. But I've seen it in enough families to know that this is not always the case. The very concept of equality starts at the most basic level. If you can't be shown to look after a pet, you damn well can't look after a child. You can pretend you can by throwing things at the child to make them feel valid. But the reality is, all you've done is show that all you need to do is buy something for them and finish. You fixed it, the problem solved, proper job. While the pet is abandoned, it shows that you have the potential to be negligent. A degree of separation as far as I'm concerned. And I'm sure many will disagree with me on that, but honestly, I could do a TED talk on that if I knew for a second people would actually watch it. Based on the custody one, I'm not inclined to believe that. Now, as a final little thing, I made a Not Worth a Cork channel for me and Dave to upload some, my friend David, to upload some voice chats we're going to do, doing samplings of whiskies. And this weekend, we're going to look to record one to upload at some point in the week. There is one going up today on Glamouray. If you're interested in following the Whiskey channel, I'll link it down below. There are some shorts on there. We're going to do some more of those in the future. If not, no worries. Have a lovely weekend, everyone.